Hey guys, welcome to TSC Garage. I'm Bart. In this video, I'm working on the ZX4R. This beautiful new bike came to us with OEM signals on it. We decided, hey, let's put on our integrated tail light and our Nexus front signals. And what happens is you end up with hyper flashing. The OEM relay on this bike and many other bikes is set up so that when OEM lighting is still on the bike, It'll function properly. If something changes in the current draw characteristics of the signaling equipment, it'll alert you that something changed or something's wrong via fast flashing. Now, when you're riding around the streets and signaling, you probably don't want hyper flash. It's a little bit confusing to drivers. It's faster than the OEM 85 cycle per minute rate. What do you do? Here's your solution. This is our Gen 2 flasher relay. It is a direct replacement for the unit on this bike, plugs right in, uses the same mounting technology to be mounted onto a tab. And here's the best part, it's toolless. We do not need to remove anything to access it. Now in our video flow, we did remove some panels so that we can show you in detail what's happening when I'm connecting it, when I'm dislodging it and all that stuff. But you will not need to remove any of that. I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. That video is only for your detailed view. All right. This is a plug and play component. Like I said, there is an adjuster inside it in case you do not like that 85 cycle per minute rate and you would like to customize your flash rate. You can slip off the gray cover, keep the bottom component, the circuit plugged in, make sure that you don't touch any of the conductors or components to, to the frame or any other conductive uh, surface you may blow something up so make sure you hold it by hand prevent any sort of contact and then you get in here into this potentiometer turn it one way for faster turn it the other way for slower get it to that rate that you like replace the cap plug it back in good to go now i will not be showing this in detail in this video we do have some b-roll footage that we'll be rolling for you guys to show you how that's done and how it affects the flash rate in this video i will just be taking the OEM relay off and replacing it with this, putting this back on the frame and showing you what it looks like when the resultant flash rate is 85 cycles per minute. Let's get started. So our relay location is right below this plastic shroud. This is our relay. It's sitting on this steel tab. I get my hand in underneath and just dislodge this guy. I help myself with my right hand by prying up on this plastic. And then we have the relay come off. This is the locking feature for the connector. I press this down, withdraw it. Then I will scavenge this rubber keeper. Grab our new Gen 2 relay. Get the rubber keeper on. Reconnect and then remount back on the tab. And that's it. Let's give it a test. All right, proper 85 cycle per minute flash rate has been restored. We broke no sweat and we didn't use any tools. It was a very simple installation. I like these installations. I hope you guys do too. If you like what you see here, check out tstindustries.com. We have these relays ready to go for you. We also have the signals you see here, the tail light that we have for this bike, whole host of other parts for this bike and other bikes that you may have in your stable. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. I like hearing from you. Click subscribe, all that good stuff. Ride safe, see you later.